So I'm just like in my world, right? And I see my own building and I'm like, hmm, I wonder what's inside. Oh, a chest. Don't mind if I do. So I opened it up and this is, this is what happened. I'm Sarah from The Claw. You might recognize me from previous videos. But today I'd like to show you this. As you can see, I have a dispenser next to this trap chest. This dispenser will shoot an arrow into these blocks, which should have updated them, but it didn't. So I replaced it with fire charges. So now when I open this trap chest, the fire charge will update all these blocks and anvils and lava and whatever you want. Whatever you want. So this is an epic trap chest. A very good trap troll environment for your buildings. So if you want to know how this is done, stick around and I'll show you. You can do different things by updating the block with an anvil. But I found that to be quite useless. Looseless. So all we need is an anvil, lots of anvils, lots of, lots of ice. And we want to put the ice on a platform about just above the doors. So it's going to be two blocks two blocks off the ground. Then you want to melt these ice blocks using glowstone and you'll see it will slowly melt away. All your problems will melt away. And now all you need to do is get out some of these and just place them all down like so. Who would have thought lily pads would save the day? Now all you need to do is use gravel or sand and you can place them on top of the on top of the lily pads and you'll see that it will be like one block above. This is amazing. Now all we need to do, as you can see, is fill up the anvils like so. But if you don't want to waste anvils and you just want to kill the troll, just put these above the chest like this on the torches. Either a redstone torch or a regular torch will work. Or you can just flat out just put anvils on top of these lily pads if you want to save resources, but I decided to use gravel, lava, and anvils. I've gone extreme, guys. So all we need to do is find a way to update the block with those fire charges and you're done. But first of all, we have to get rid of the water. So what you need to do, do not break the lily pads, guys. You want an empty bucket and underneath the lily pads, you simply collect them by pressing L2 and you're collecting all the source blocks and all of the lily pads. And you'll notice one thing. Those gravel blocks are not falling and they're not updating guys. So this is the entire idea here. So yeah, we don't need to use any redstone for this, as you can see, and it's very simple. And just wait for the water to come back down. Okay guys, now you'll see the, the wall is still there. And all we need to do is put a trap chest right here with a torch, redstone torch. So when you open that trap chest, it will activate this dispenser. You can hear that click. And now all you need to do is add fire charges and you're done! For action! Can I get an amen for action? And if you use arrows, it won't work, so I don't know why that is, but fire charges does the trick. You can also use a lever or a button behind those blocks to update them also. Alright guys, so now let's just fill it up with the fire charges, and we're absolutely done. So let's check it out. So I open it up and... Faction! Death! I'm in creative right now, but if I was in survival, it would look a little more like... You can also use anvils too. <laughs> what happens is, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and share this video with the world. <laughs>